Hi everyone, I am back with another video. This is a tutorial video today. I'm going to show you how I do some bottle cap charms. Um, I don't do them all the same, so they kind of vary, but the idea is the same on really kind of what you're doing. So I have made a few different bottle cap charms. You can see pictures of those over on my Pinterest and on Facebook. So this is, this is a Mickey Mouse one, obviously. <laughs> and all I did was just take this image off of Google and I printed it out, punched it with a one inch circle punch. I have some little round one inch epoxy stickers that I stick on top. So my bottle cap, I've already flattened all of my bottle caps, so I don't have any to show you how to flatten those at the moment, but next time I get some more bottle caps, I can do that, because so I did have a request for that. So all you do is just your beads and then you attach them. So I made the little Mickey Mouse head right here out of polymer clay and turned it into a bead. So. Yeah, I'm just hoping that it'll kind of, it'll stand up, like it'll withhold. But I wouldn't put these on my scissors or anything like that. I would use these more as like, just kind of hang it um, in my room or something somewhere. Just because I think if this was getting knocked around, I think the ears would come off or whatnot. So I would not want that to happen. So I'm going to actually show you how to make a Minnie Mouse one that is the exact same as this one, only we're going to have a Minnie Mouse polymer clay bead and a Minnie Mouse picture. And I did forget one thing. I forgot to grab my little metal hole punch. So let me grab that and I think I need my split ring pliers. Okay, so I pretty much laid out everything just so the video wouldn't be so terribly long for you guys but this is kind of a start to finish tutorial just so you know ahead of time that if you don't want to watch the entire process then it's not the type of video for you because I'm not going to speed anything up I'm going to show you exactly how I make this this is actually like I said it's all laid out so it's gonna go fairly quick but when I'm actually beating something new it does not go this fast <laughs> So, this is kind of pre-organized for you guys. Um, I had already done the image and the epoxy sticker on my bottle cap, so I won't be able to show you how to do that in this video. But I will show you how to punch the holes, and all I use is this nifty little 1 16th inch uh, hole punch. This actually came in a kit. And I think the spring in here is all jacked up, but it works just fine. But this came in a bottle cap making kit I got at Hobby Lobby, along with this little split ring pliers. So those are pretty nifty tools to have. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a hole in the center of where Minnie is. And I'm poking the hole in one of the little divots. You see all these little divots that go around the bottle cap. That's where you want to poke your hole. So I just poked my hole in the top there. So just right there. Then we will go ahead and attach our split ring. So I'm just going to open it up, stick it in there, and just twist it until it clicks in place. There we go. So there we have our split ring on the top. Then we're going to poke our holes on the bottom, and I did five holes on the bottom. So let's see. We will start right here 
You could actually poke downward if you want to, but it's easier for me if I go upward with this. So we'll do one. And you're gonna get these little tiny metal slivers that are just gonna fly. I usually do this over the trash can. But I'll just let them sit on the mat. Okay, so there's three. Do one on this side. And I'm actually going to grab another one of the Minnie Mouse ones that I did just to look at. To make sure that <clears throat> I'm going to get them all in the right spot. So I've already made this one. Okay, so one more to the left. I wouldn't be so anal about it had I not already done a bunch of them. These are going to be... Um, given away. These are some gifts, so I want them to kind of be the same. Okay, so there I have all of my holes punched in the bottom of the bottle cap. So we can go ahead and start doing our beads. Okay, so the way I do my beads, I'm going to do my center bead. I always do the center bead first. And that consists of some head pins and some beads. So some of these beads are acrylic beads and some of them are um, glass beads. Okay, this is not, this is the top bead up here. So we'll just do this one first. So all I did was string my little red one and my little black seed bead. Then I use the 1.5 millimeter looper this thing is my best friend when I'm beading. I love it. So what you do is you just stick your head pin in there or your wire, whatever you're using. There's a hole right here. And so you just stick it through there. Get as close to that bead as you can. And then you just press down. It's going to cut your wire for you. And then it does your loop. Now I just go back and it's not turning around. And I just kind of close up that loop there. So there we have our little top piece. Okay, so now we'll do the bottom piece, which is going to be this row here. So we're going to go ahead and take the head pin and we're going to just start threading our beads on here. Like I said, sometimes this is the part that takes the longest is trying to figure out where and how I want the beads to go. So there's that. And now, since I'm using an eye pin, I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to take my little bead, my dangle bead, and I'm going to just attach it to that part of the eye pin. So there we have the little dangle. I hope I am in camera here for you guys. I hope you could see that. Um... So now we're going to go ahead and start threading the eye pin, which I have my little bead here, my polymer clay bead with my little Minnie Mouse bow. So that's going to go on first. Then we're going to take the next one, which is a little spacer bead. We're going to take our white seed bead. Another spacer. This is an 8 millimeter glass bead. Another spacer and a yellow seed bead. I think these are size six seed beads, these bigger ones. Then we're going to go ahead and close it up with a loop. 
just like so. That little piece out of there. Just tighten that a little bit there. And there we have our first main bead. So we'll go ahead and take a jump ring. And jump rings are just whatever size you want to use. I like using six millimeter jump rings. So there we go. There's the main one. Then we're just going to string the rest of them and I'm just going to go according to what I have here. So we've got the white one. This is a yellow, kind of a golden yellow acrylic bead that I had in my stash. This is a metal spacer bead. Then like a transparent red seed bead and another little spacer bead. It's like a silver, um, I think it's a 2.5 millimeter. They come in a little pack at Hobby Lobby. I like them because they're, they're not just plain silver round balls. They kind of have some textured lines on them. And I like that. Okay, that one's closed up. So we'll put that one on the jump ring. Okay, so then we'll do the other one for the other side. So it's going to be done the same way. Just going to put all the beads on. And then we're going to loop it. Now when I first started beading, I had to just take round pliers and do all of my looping myself, which wasn't really that big of a deal. Um, the first couple looked kind of crazy once I got the hang of it. Um, I got pretty good at it and then I bought the looper just for ease. And then I did a comparison of my loop to the loopers loop and they were identical it was kind of funny and I'm gonna have to grab another um, head pin okay so now we're gonna do the smaller ones which are on the ends here so it's just the little transparent red bead it's gonna be a little yellow and a black seed bead why is that one not going on I have to grab another one. There we go. Okay, so we'll just close this one up and I will grab another head pin. So we can do the other one and then we can start basically doing the assembly. There's that one. Okay, let me grab one more head pin. All right, we'll do this one. We'll loop this one. Just like so. My hands are kind of slippery today. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, so that's it for the beading part. Now we're going to start putting it together. So we'll actually start with the bottom 
and we're just going to open up the jump ring. When you're opening up jump rings, you don't want to open them this way. You just want to twist. So you just want to twist it, put it where it needs to go, and then twist it close. So there we have the middle one. Then we'll do this one goes on the left side. And we have the small one. So there we have that. Attach these ones to this side over here. And not every bottle cap charm do I make with this many on the bottom. Um, some of them I've only done three on the bottom, some of them I've only done one and just worked off of the one with some chain and stuff. So it's all personal preference on what you really want it to look like. So there we have that so far. Now we're going to do the top, which is actually going to be... I, I didn't grab the ball chain, but... That's okay. So I'm going to take my little Made With Love and I'm going to actually, did I touch that with the ring? No, I did not. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the split ring here with the little split ring pliers. And I want this to be in the back. So I'm going to loop it through Just like that. So we're going to keep that one on the back side. Then we're going to take that one I put on two pieces of chain and the split ring. Okay. I should have totally looked at that beforehand, but I didn't. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple pieces of chain off. This is how I store my chain. I just have this little drawer that is in my little unit. If you guys saw the video for my beading um, little station, so I've got chipboard spacers inside my drawers or dividers and I took a little chunk out of this one so I could put my chain on it so it would hold it because it kept falling in here and I could never find the end. So I just pull it out and grab a couple when I need them. So this one I need two pieces. Go. Just put this right back in there. And I'll go ahead and attach this to the split ring. My pliers are too close, I can't get it in there. There we go. Opening and closing your chain is the same way. You don't want to pull it, you just want to twist. Okay, so this is where I put the ball chain right through that piece of chain. Ball chain is kind of tricky. We're just going to do this so we can hang on to it. <laughs> there we go. So that's what that part looks like. Then we're going to go ahead and attach, we already got a split ring open here, our little tiny bead up to the top, and I attached that onto the chain. So I'm going to use this 
this first little section of chain here and just attach this right there. I really need to get some bigger flat nose pliers. This is killing the inside of my hand. They're so tiny. So I have this pair and I love them so I need to get another one. The other one just hurts so bad. Like I feel like it's all bruised right there. So there we have our little Minnie Mouse bottle cap charm. Flip Minnie Mouse over. She's only one sided. I didn't do bows on both sides. So there's that one. These are so cute. I love these. You guys know that I'm huge Mickey and Minnie fans. So when I made these, I was super ecstatic about them. So that is what they look like. Side by side. Mickey and Minnie. So cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, even though I was fumbling around a little bit. Um, beading is new to me. Beading on your own is completely different than beading in front of a camera. And so sometimes you're not as relaxed when you're filming because you want to make sure that you're doing everything right and you're not fumbling around, even though I tend to fumble around a lot. But you guys know that when I do my paper crafting too. So it's just one of those things. I don't think I'm ever going to be 100% um, in a video, like it's just never going to happen. I'm human. This is, this is what happens. <laughs> I make mistakes and sometimes I can show you how to fix it. Sometimes I can't. And sometimes I'm all, you know, focused and sometimes I'm not. But like I said, I am new to beading. This is a really super fun hobby for me and I'm trying not to make it into something that is going to stress me out. So I hope you guys bear with me with some of the tutorials. If you still want to see more, let me know. If you don't, let me know that too. And I just won't do them because there's no point in doing them if you're not going to watch them. So you guys let me know if you're cool with seeing these. Um, if it's kind of a negative thing, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I just, I've had enough negativity lately and I don't need it. So um, if it's not something that you're interested in, just kind of bypass the video. Um, but if you guys do want to see these, just leave it in the comments and um, I can try to get some more done. I did have a request, like I said, on how to flatten bottle caps, which there's a ton of tutorials on YouTube on how to flatten bottle caps, but I'm, I can do that. That's not a problem. I just don't have any at the moment. And um, I did get some requests over on Facebook to do some tutorials on um, making the other charms that I do make. So those, I can do that. I just need some time to do those. And I don't have any time coming up yet, so in a few weeks I can start filming those. So again, after I've babbled and babbled on and on after this video, um, let me know what you guys think. Please stay positive. If you're going to be really negative, just keep moving. That's all I'm asking. Um, so, yeah, this is it. That's my bottle cap Mickey and Minnie. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.